How's it going, everybody? Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa here today. Got my boy Skyler with me. And our camping neighbor is actually upstream, but we came out fishing with him. He wanted to show us a couple of spots in the stream. Um, this is actually cold water trout stream. Uh, it's not far from the campground that we are at, staying at this year. And uh, it's the closest trout stream of all of them. So it gives me a little bit of time to explore it. There's a cave on it at some point. I would like to go and explore that area as well. But today we we're just going for a quick little fish this morning. And uh, we're going to get this family back together and go and handle some stuff. And go do some sightseeing possibly as well today. But we're going to let Skyler get in the water first here. See if he can get a trout. And then I'll jump in and see what happens. But we're going for, uh, we're probably going to keep five trout. And... Uh, Use them for dinner later on. Oh, you want to let it sit on bottom. You were in the perfect spot. See how the current is washing down and it's going straight at that bank? The trout will be sitting right at the end of that current. So cast back on the other side of that current and let it drag right into it. That'll be a perfect spot for him to sit. <laughs> Can't cast his back. Far. Look. Use my pole. I don't know what you did to your pole. Use my pole. <laughs> did you tangle it? No, it's perfectly fine. There's hardly any weight on it. Well, if you have to, you can throw a little small split shot on. Yeah, now you cast across the stream. Let me put your pole down. Put a little split shot on. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have a little one on. If you guys don't have some of this bug soother, this stuff works really good for those little gnats that fly around your head. But I've also got a secret. Really and uh, it should be, hopefully, uh, in one of my previous videos within the last week or two, I made a video of essential oils to be able to use for bugs between gnats and mosquitoes. Can it bite yet, buddy? Yeah? No? Nope. No? No. What are you doing? Still biting? Yeah. Alright, at this point you might want to set the hook. And yell. Got, Got it? Small. Ooh, ooh, I just bought wet on my butt. That looks like a normal sized trout. Let's see. Why are you what, normally you're fighting them? What are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a little guy. We're gonna let that one go. Hopefully he didn't swallow it. Nope, good. Didn't swallow it. Oh, that's Ow. not what you're supposed to do. And look what it is. It's brown what? trout. Okay. Right, carefully hold it because we're releasing this one. Alright, hold it. Put your, put your pole down in the grass. No, don't let the fish go yet. Real quick. Show the fish off. Hold it nicely. Don't let it fall. Way to go, Skyler. First fish of the day. All right. Now, put it back in the water. Nice and easy. <laughs> Confused. Help it out. Dad, I have boots on. Okay. Hi. Hi. First fish of the day. Oh wait, it's still there, you can see it. Mm. There's some mud here. Oh, Let's beat back up, get back in the water. So today we're just going for a nice easy fishing trip. Like I said, we weren't gonna be spending too much time today because we've got some stuff to do. So all I'm doing is just throwing in a night crawler on a war on a hook and let it drift down the stream. Feel for the bites. Really simple, easy way to get trout, you guys.
when you're doing drift fishing like this, hold on to your line and just feel the line as it goes downstream. Scatter might have another. And if you feel your line as it's going down the stream, you can tell if a trout starts hitting it, you'll feel the bite. Too soon. Looks like Dad got my got one. Oh yeah. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Looked like a nice brown trout, you guys. So, I put a split shot on so that it'll hold bottom a little bit more in the hole that I want it to hold instead of drifting. But if I get into a nice area that has more of a current through it, I'm going to take that split shot right back off. Right here off the edge. Yeah, right here off the edge. <laughs> oh, did you see that jump? <laughs> oh, it's a little baby. Oh, yep, good. He didn't swallow the hook. All right, guys, we're going to get this guy back in real quick. Great. Nice little brown trout. Check that out. Right back in. Ah, oh, that hooked onto my ear. <laughs> Where is it now? Go, oh, little guy. <laughs> hold still, hold still. Really little brown trout, you guys. That isn't that just beautiful? And took off good. Let's see if there's a bigger one. So I am now using a spinner. They were biting the night crawler, but they just aren't really committing to it very well yet. Which there's always a chance that you find that one in a hole that might be very aggressive and take it. But since I'm getting into some smaller fish, I don't want a chance having them swallow the hook and killing a smaller fish that we're not going to keep. So I switched to a spinner. Oop, missed another one. So I switched to a spinner so that way I'm getting a reaction strike and they don't have a chance to swallow the hook. And Skyler's got all the night crawlers. Oh, big one chasing it. Big one chasing it. That was a bigger trout. Let's see if we can give him a bite. Oh, he grabbed it. It wasn't even spinning and it grabbed it. That's a hungry trout. Oh, you missed it. Missed it. Huh. Let's see if we can get one on the edge here. Nope, oh, missed it. <laughs> There's a couple really hungry trout in this spot. Oh, that's a big one. We've got to get this guy to bite. Missed it. Got him. Let it go. That's a big rainbow. Not a monster, but a big one.
Go ahead, you got a sinker on? Got a sinker on? Do you have a sinker on? No. Go ahead and throw one on. Get you up into this hole. See if these bigger trout bite. I have a couple bigger ones up in here. I two. Oh. There goes my spinner. There goes my spinner. Nope. Cast up into there and let it troll down through here. There's a couple really nice sized with trout. A sinker? With a sinker. You, who are you can? You think you can get all the way over there with that pole with a, with that sinker? So watch, see if I can get him to come out again. Watch, watch. See if he come out and come out that time. There's some uh, at least a big rainbow and one big brown that I seen. Missed it. They're starting to get sick of the spinner now. Yep, now they need a night crawler. Get right in there? Oh yeah. Yep. I figured you would. I think they're hungry in there. Yep, I'm getting one. Got it. It's got a nice one. Brown trout. Nope, rainbow. How could you not? Not. <laughs> oh my goodness, get it up. Oh, it just dropped off the hook. That's what happened to my own. Look at that. But instead, I caught you. Keep a hold of them. Oh, 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 you can drop them. <laughs> All right. Hold them, stop, and then stop. Wow. Let's see it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Skyler, here. <laughs> All right, now hold them over the net. <laughs> up, right side up. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, look at me again. Okay. Looks like this one was chewed at. Yeah. Got yeah. hey, your stringer? That one's big enough for a stringer. Oh, I know. Well, the four that I've caught so far were too small. Five, five. I just caught one like this. You'll be mad at me, but the the three I've caught now, well, big, four because I all just, that size. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're a couple hundred yards from where we park now. And I'm gonna explore a little bit more up the stream. Really enjoying the views though, you guys. This is just awesome. Just beautiful. We got some bluffs coming up up here. So we're gonna walk up there too, but I'm gonna have Skylar dump, uh, try again in this hole. See if he can get another one out of it. There was a big brown sitting in there too that was going after my spinner, so. But beautiful day out, you this guys. This has you, a little body dysmorphia. That's fine. Beautiful day out, you guys. You can't ask for better weather than this. This is first week of July, and we're in like 
70, 75 degree weather, and it's almost 50 degrees in the mornings every the last two mornings. So pretty crazy People weather. Need to wear a sweater. You wear a sweater when it's 80 degrees. I don't want to hear it. Don't let him fool you. All right, we're gonna get this fish in the water on the stringer. Don't let him fool we're going for five trout today. We got my trout stamped fish off of, and uh, see what we can get. All right, let's jump in with Skyler. My right. turn. Get my, out of my hole. My turn. Already got a bite. <laughs> Get it, Skyler, get it. How goes it? Not too bad. Not even yet. Um, a lot of smaller ones, but we just found a hole with some what? nicer ones. Oh, that's brown. Nope. What? Right here, put them on the stand. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, so far I've thrown back, holy cow, Skyler. That's a good one. I caught was... a couple rainbows. Nice. I caught four more rainbows, a chub, and a, and a, a fairly good sized sucker. Really? Getting another bite? All right. That's a, that's a nice one. You want to keep him or? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I uh, broke down and waited in the stream. <laughs> I, think I got one foot wet and I figured, well, what the hell? Because uh, otherwise I got to go way back around. The stream has meandered a little bit. So like it used to turn here and go to the left. Now part of it comes straight along the bottom of the bluff. Huh. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, there's quite a few sitting in this that are still hungry. Do you want to try for something? Sweating. Oh yeah, I bet with a sweatshirt on. I'm glad I didn't wear mine. I down about three times oh, before he about ended up in the stream all right guys so that's gonna wrap up our trip today uh six trout total caught some smaller ones as well thank you and enjoyed our day we're gonna go back enjoy the campground like i said it's early enough in the day we can still go out and do whatever we want to do and six trout total is pretty good for just a couple hours of work but Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys later. That's a walleye. And she swallowed it. That is a monster.